Hello everyone, the church bells are tolling us in. Uh, this is another impromptu stream. Apologies for not uh, giving any advance warning that I was going to be streaming again. But I was in the mood to um, return to something I'd done before, a Sunday brunch. So this stream uh, concept, it's very high concept, is that I stream whilst having some brunch on a Sunday and play a puzzle game casually, see, see where we get. Um, this puzzle game that we're going to play today might be a little more hardcore than uh, my sleepy Sunday brain can cope with. But we're going to give it a go anyway because it looks rather witty and charming and I'm intrigued by it. So we're going to be playing, let me get it started up. So I'm going to need to start my um, classic Mac OS emulator. So we're using Mini VMac to get this to work. Just jiggle that window a little bit while that loads up. We're going to be playing The Fool's Errand, which is described in some circles as a um, as a meta puzzle game, um, and it was originally released in 1987. Um, so it's uh, got like a, a light fantasy theme. Um, it's kind of got a narrative, um, but the gameplay is essentially a series of interlocking puzzles. So uh, by solving a series of puzzles kind of uh, along the length of the narrative, you then uh, get um, some you then get some clues um, to solve uh, a greater puzzle on top of that. Um, I'm not describing this very well. I do have the manual here. Let me see if I can find. A more succinct description of what what we're looking at here. So, we're going to need to read through the story. That's important. Um, okay, let's let me uh, read this part then. This gives us a good start. So, the story is vital to solving the game. It chronicles the adventures of the fool as he wanders throughout the land. It provides a description of the land necessary to restore the sun's map. It gives important clues to the names of the 14 treasures. So we need to um, solve sort of like the incidental puzzles as part of the story. We need to complete the sun's map and find uh, the names of the 14 treasures to fully complete the game. And then we get an ending. So it seems quite interesting. Uh, before we go any further, there is a kind of um, just because of the way uh, the uh, program was written for, for the original operating system. Um, the prologue to the game is a separate application. So uh, once we've unlocked the finale, if we ever unlock the finale, uh, we go back there to see that. But we can do this to see the the prologue, uh, which is separate to um, running the uh, the overall application, which we'll go here for. So let's go have a look at this prologue. I haven't seen this before, uh, so this will be interesting. I think the church bells are just going to keep on tolling. Lady Death? For no one can undo the treachery I have inflicted upon the land. One sunny day, a light-hearted fool strolled along a hilly path, whistling a merry tune. A long wooden pole was slung over his shoulder, and attached to it was a cloth bundle which carried his life's possessions. A cloth bindle, if you will. What a marvellous afternoon, he exclaimed, to no one in particular, pausing to appreciate the lovely countryside. Ah, oh, look at that animation. Soon the trees parted and the path led to a small clearing, ending abruptly at the edge of a treacherous cliff. But the fool was undaunted and kept at his swift pace, steadily approaching the sheer drop. Your folly is most curious, a voice boomed. Have you no fear of death? Just as one leg dangled over the side of the cliff, the fool hesitated. 
Who dares to interrupt my errand? He demanded impatiently. Impertinently, one might say. I dare, the bright yellow sun replied. Well then, the fool considered, I seek the fourteen treasures of the world, and I am told that a man who strays from his path is lost. That may well be true, spoke the sun, but I fear that you are already lost. Take this map as my gift. It will aid you in your quest. There we go. Okay, that was nice. Though I um I love the um uh the really dense uh pixel art. Um really relatively high resolution black and white pixel art of this era of um of Mac. Um it's beautiful. It's got kind of a um like, almost like a classical etching kind of uh kind of aesthetic. It's very very beautiful. Alright, so let's start up the main program. Um, so, if I hadn't mentioned before, this is a game by Cliff Johnson uh, from 1987 originally, uh, revised, did it say 19? I can't disappear quickly. Uh, revised in 1990 something. And um, it is available for free from uh, Cliff Johnson's website actually. So, he, um, this was his first Meta Puzzle game. There you go, have a little joker there in chat. Um, his first Meta Puzzle game and not by any means his last. Um, so let me just find the link for you. So anybody interested can um, can go here. I'll just drop the link in chat for us. Um, so this is Cliff Johnson's website, and you can download uh, three of his games. So The Fool's Errand, three and three, and um, uh, what's it called? At the Carnival, I think. Um, all in one, all in one package. So that's the link for those. Um, here we are. So I think we're going to have to start off with some reading to um, start getting some clues. Uh, you'll see on the screen I've got um, I've got the chat up. I've also got a um, a separate notepad open as well that I can take notes in because I think we might it might well be the kind of game where we need to do that. Um, I will need to bear in mind because this is brunch, and I haven't really mentioned what what I'm consuming at the moment. I I have a, a glass of water, which is good for my um, my throat because I'm still getting over a cold, um, a little bit congested, but a lot better than I was earlier in the week, so that's good. Um, I've got I've nearly finished my cup of um, green tea with lemon, so in about ten minutes time, I need to go and check on my croissants, which are baking in the oven. And get those out. So we'll have a little musical interlude at that point. Um, I might, uh, I'll get those out to eat, and probably make myself a new cup of tea of some sort. Uh, but in the meantime, let's, um, well, let's have a look at the interface, shall we? So, this, uh, when I first loaded this up to have a look, I hadn't read the manual yet, um, but it all felt pretty intuitive to me. I think I, I think I probably played with old Max more than I remember, um, because they do seem quite intuitive. I mean, I think they are. They were well, well designed at the time. Anyway, they were an intuitive interface. So, um, if you go to the little Apple symbol on the top, um, you can have a look about Fool's Errand. So it tells you that uh, I haven't saved the game, so it's just untitled game at the moment. Uh, the Sun's map is incomplete. There are sixty missing pieces, and there are fifty-six unsolved puzzles. Ah, oh, you go. It's version three point nine from nineteen ninety-eight. So, um, over a decade later. Uh, it was revised by Cliff Johnson. Right, so file is where we can do our save and load functions and quitting. And then, so menu options 1 through to uh, 5 have different locations or characters in them. Um, and each one of those represents a puzzle. So uh, the, men, uh, the manual tells us that anything with a diamond next to it is a, um, is a section we can so anything in black with a diamond next to it is a section we can visit and also a section that would unlock another section uh, once solved. So we can visit any of those to start with, which is intriguing, and each one does have um, a part on this scroll. So if we just uh, mouse over the edge of the scroll here, we can go uh, up and down. We can't go any further up because we're at the start. We can get to part two of this sun section, for example, and then it will jump to the next available one, which is the Wheel of Fortune there. Um, if we've got any of the ones in between, we could we could visit those. Um, 
and then yeah I think uh, then if you want to do the actual puzzle part of uh, this particular section you click on the question mark and then the puzzle will pop up okay let's start with the um, the Sun let's see what this is one sunny day a light-hearted fool strolled along a hilly path whistling a merry tune a long wooden pole was slung over his shoulder and attached to it was a cloth bundle which carried his life's possessions ah, so this is recapping uh, some of the same stuff from the intro what a marvellous afternoon, he exclaimed, to no one in particular, pausing to appreciate the lovely countryside. Soon the trees parted and the path led to a small clearing, ending abruptly at the edge of a treacherous cliff. But the fool was undaunted and kept at his swift pace, steadily approaching the sheer drop. Your folly is most curious, a voice boomed. Have you no fear of death? Just as one leg dangled over the side of the cliff, the fool hesitated. Who dares to interrupt my errand? He demanded impatiently. Oh, I went too far. I dare, the bright yellow sun replied. Well then, the fool considered, I seek the fourteen treasures of the world, and I am told that the man who strays from his path is lost. That may well be true, spoke the sun, but I fear that you are already lost. Take this map as my gift. It will aid you in your quest. And in a flash of light, an aged parchment appeared at his feet. At last, a path to follow, cried the fool, happily taking the map. Perhaps, the sun murmured, your things are never as simple as they may seem. But the fool had already run back down the hill and did not hear the sun's parting words. So let's have a little peep at this. So this is kind of one of the, um, one of the over puzzles, really. But I think uh, if the if I recollect the manual correctly um, each of these squares is a um, is a puzzle piece from one of these locations um, so I think and we need to make it so there is a single path I mean I'll come back to these um, these descriptions uh, description of the puzzle later on when we, when we tackle, if we tackle it in earnest but uh, each one of these is a location and we need to make a single path through this map um, taking the fool in the order of these locations uh, as presented uh, top to bottom uh, left to right in these menus um, so it needs to start off with the sun and then go to the seeing of the warrior and so on um, so basically we need to um, it's something that we're recommended to oh look at that I'm gonna click on these uh, locations there's the sun Click on these locations. Interesting. That one got a number in it. That's got. Well, that's tiny, tiny writing. Can I? Can I read that? Maybe. It, it's probably even. In, I mean, I can. Well, I'm just put my face very close to the screen, basically. Uh, ABC the EFG. That's it. I can read that one. All right. I'm gonna unveil all these um, ones with little uh, star symbols on. So each one of these is representing one of the currently unlocked uh, puzzles we can visit. And we're going to need to... I can see there is a path running through to each of them. And I think we can swap them as well, um, which is interesting. So I think it looks like we uh, so now select one of these ones that's been unveiled. And click another one. We could swap them over, swap the locations over. So we can move the map around that way. Um, how exactly we know where to start, not sure. If we go to this new menu option that's appeared for the sun, it should give us a few options so we can return to scroll, that's how we get back. Uh, so, and then the bot, we can undo a move, which is handy. Um, and then the bottom bit should be our score of like uh, instructions or hints for this particular puzzle. And it's, it's kind of like the menu format for each of the puzzles, as I understand it. So, it says be forewarned. The sun's map has been corrupted by a powerful enchantment. You may need the help of others to unlock its secrets. So I think it's probably wise to leave that one be for the time being. I will um, return to scroll. And let's move to the next segment, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Which is just one... Yes, yeah, just this little bit of text here. So I'll read this and then we'll have our musical interlude while I go and source myself some further brunch. Further along, the fool came to a wooden wheel mounted atop an old tree stump. 
A wheel of fortune, he exclaimed. Perhaps it will tell me of the fourteen treasures. He gave the wheel a spin and, after many long turns, it came to rest on a set of jumbled letters. But unfortunately, the fool knew of such magic and was unable to dis... Unfortunately, the fool knew of such magic and was unable to decipher its meaning. Didn't know of such magic? I'm not sure if that makes sense to me. Right, oh, well, I think we should look at this puzzle. Ooh. Select a card above or yield. Old man zero, fool zero. Temperance, death, justice, the hanged man, the sun. Ooh, this is exciting. Let's have a look. You've been challenged to a game of Thoth. Thoth, Thoth. The player with the highest hand wins the round. In the case of a tie, high card wins. Uh, how do we know the values of the cards? Uh, in the case of tie, right? Uh, a yield costs 27 points. The first player to earn over 666 points wins the game. The old man cannot see the card in the lower right hand corner. Okay, so we can't see the old man's card there, right? Uh, highest hand wins the round. In the case of a tie, high card wins. Play. I'm not quite, I'm not exactly sure how this uh, this works, but we'll come back to it in just a second, folks. In the meantime, please enjoy this.
Hello folks, I'm back. So if anybody's been musing on this, thank you. I have my croissants, I've got a butter one and a jam one. I've got a cup of decaffeinated black tea now. Um, I'm looking forward to both these things. And I've been thinking about the Wheel of Fortune in my absence, and I've been thinking we probably need to start writing some notes here. So let's let's do that. Uh, oh, hello. Let's uh, leave another space there. The Wheel of Fortune. So I'm I'm suspecting this game does not natively have any uh, any sound track. So um, if you're well. I'm going to supply some munching, possibly, and do let me know how you feel about the mouth sounds. Um, but I, I could supply some uh, some background ambience if uh, if you would like that. So let me know. Right, can I? I can underline. That's exciting. There we go. All right, so I've got that set up. So I'm thinking we're going to probably going to have to find out what the relative values of these cards are by playing with them. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, play with the highest hand wins the round. Select a card above where you yield. Play with the high. Uh, in, in the case of a tie, high card wins. A yield costs 27 points. The first player to earn. So, it doesn't tell you what you get for winning a round. But a yield will lose you 27 points. We're going to start off with zero. We need to get to 666. So, what if I click on. Okay, so it tells me I'm doing the wrong thing if I click on the sun or the hanged man, which seems to be in our hand. And then we get to choose one of these. Um, I'd say death conquers all. So let's. Old man wins 126 points. Council triplet beats sun. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to make we need to make notes here, don't we? So um Jugemont plus uh Lirofa plus Justice uh, equals council triplet triplet which is greater than the sun okay don't know if that makes any sense but that's what that's what we'll go with yep that'll do uh, yeah no, that's fine Okay, great. Um, so, select a card above or yield. Can I return to map? Return scroll. Yeah, I can begin again. Oh, perfect. Right, so now we've got a completely different hand. Um, yeah, so you need to make a good triple combo, possibly, is what we're doing. Um, I have a trump card. So the sun was put potentially a trump card, but um, interesting. Right, so the old man has the lovers. Um, you'd think the hierophant, if that's some kind of priest, might go with the lovers, or the fool might go with the lovers. Um, the devil and the magician. I wonder if death should go with those. I'm going to choose death again. Oh, that one's 99 points. Lucky triplet beats dark pair. Oh, okay. A death and the devil equals dark pair. Death plus devil equals dark pair. And uh, lovers. So I don't know if this is a balance kind of thing. So I don't know if. Um, we both equally have the potential to get a, a triplet out of 
Ah, uh, okay. The, yeah. Uh, out of the um, available cards. I don't know if we're both able to get a triple out of those. Um, but it would be, be handy, wouldn't it? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, oh yes, by the way, so because we're playing a uh, a puzzle game, if anybody um, pops along in the, the chat and um, is not familiar with the game and hasn't looked it up and um, wants to um, chip in with some ideas uh, as like a first time player along with me, um, you'd be very welcome to do so. Um, it'd be it'd be nice to um, to solve a puzzle together. All right, let's try again. So I've got the fool and the world. So I think, yeah. So I think this might boil down to trying to make a connection of three between these ideas. So the fool, the world, and the star, or the moon, or the empress. So we could probably either win by taking one that would make us a triplet, or taking the one that the old man would use to make a triplet, but bearing in mind we can't see, we only see one clue of the hand he's trying to build. So he's got the hanged man, which is um, perhaps un unlucky. Um, I don't know what, how the hanged man would connect to any of the three cards at the top, the star, the moon, or the empress. I'm going to muse on it while munching a little bit, so uh, I think I'll, it's probably best if I mute myself, because you, you might not want to hear this. Okay, so I'm thinking the star. I don't have a particularly cogent reason for that, but something about the fool wishing upon a star and the world's relationship to a star uh, speaks to me. So let's try that. The fool wins 63 points. Astral pair beats royal pair, which was the hermit and the empress. Interesting. I'm enjoying this card game. This is fun. Um, all right, so actually, you can win quite a few points um, in a round. Okay, so I need to write down more notes, don't I? So the star. So if we'd got the um, the star, the world, and the moon, that probably would have been a uh, a triplet. Oh, no, equals. Okay equals astral pair which is greater than the 
hermit and the empress, which equals a royal pair. Interesting. Yeah, so the hangman didn't was the only clue that we got of the old man's intentions, but that wasn't really relevant to to what happened at all. Okay. All right. So, ooh, different a different array now. So this time we got the lovers and the chariot. The old man's got strength, and in the middle we've got the magician, judgment, and wheel of fortune. Now, from previous experience, we know that the lovers and wheel of fortune are both lucky cards, so they could be a lucky uh, pair, which might be good. What would go is strength? Judgment might? The magician, I don't know. Or fortune might? Uh, I can't see that the magician would. I can't see much connection. I can't make much connection between the lovers and the chariot, particularly. Um, so I might just go for Wheel of Fortune um, and see how that works out. Win 27 points. Lucky pair beats death. Death was the only significant card you had there. Interesting. We're doing better, somehow. Um, so I'll, I'll make a note that the lovers plus wheel of fortune equals lucky pair, which is greater than death. Um, I like all the um, businesses basing it itself on um, on tarot. Um, I like the evocative um, the evocative associations that can be made. Um, story-wise with um, with that use okay some lovely dithering on uh, on all of these cards really but I particularly like the devil and the towers dithering very nice stuff okay so um, the Emperor oh the Emperor actually looks like an Emperor penguin that's I don't know if that's intentional but that's rather lovely so the Emperor and the Hermit are definitely a royal pair um, the tower I'm not sure about that. So I've got the Devil, the High Priestess. The High Priestess seems to be the one who appeared um, with death or uh, immediately after death in the um, the intro that we saw, which is intriguing. I So who out of the Hermit, the Emperor and the Fool would go best with the Devil and the High Priestess? I feel like the hermit might the hermit might fit in better with either or both of them. Let's try that. The fool with seventy-two points. A dark pair. Oh, so I already had a dark pair in the devil and the high priestess. Beats the royal pair of the empress and the emperor. The tower did not figure there. So I think we just need to put them all into categories, don't we? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if they fit into more than one category, but I feel like we're we're sort of heading into spreadsheet territory here. Interesting. Well, um, at the moment there's um, there's not so many arcana that I can't remember it. I don't think so. I'll um, I'll stick with the notes I'm making currently. Intriguing. Okay, we're doing really well actually. By accident, oh, I better write down uh, the devil plus the deep blue sea, the kevil, the sevil, the devil plus uh, high priestess equals a dark pair and is greater than a. I'm not quite sure how the scores worked out, by the way. Um, that's I don't know if I'll ever work that out exactly, but. I can probably get get far enough through this to, to work something out. Okay. All right, gonna have a little munch while this is going on. Well, let's test let's test it out audio wise. I can always um, edit this out of any future vod. Let's um, let's see how we feel about. I'll turn my volume down. There you go. That'll work.
Well, that was very tasty, and hopefully that was exciting audio for someone out there. So, we are looking at this. I, I was just thinking as I was eating that we don't really know the category for most of these. So we know the Fool is a lucky card. We know Judgment is a council card, I believe. Yep. Um, the Chariot, we haven't seen contextualised for us, I don't think. Neither have we seen the Hanged Man contextualised. Temperance hasn't appeared yet, and the Tower, we don't know what that fits into. So, um, I feel like Judgment and the Hanged Man go together. So let's try that one. The Old Man wins 54. Council pair, so Temperance is council as well. Okay. Beats the mortal pair. It's the chariot and the... Oh, mortal. Mortality. Interesting. Okay. Um, right, I'll, I'll just write this down in context. So justice. So it seems like the, um, the trump value of them is um, philosophical. Um, for example, justice... Or, or the count, also the um, sort of social authority, has um, power over the mortal, the mortal being, mortal individual, I suppose. Uh, plus temperance equals council pair. All right, so there's four cards in the council. Any major arcana around there? That would be a handy bit uh, information to know, probably, wouldn't it? If there, if there could be four in each category. I don't know if there's an even number of Arcana. Fascinating. Right, Justice plus Temperance equals Council Pair. Uh, greater than a Chariot. So I can see um, where, once you know perhaps more of what um, the respective values of what you've got in your hands, um, where conceding, yielding might be the best strategic option because uh, uh, losing 20 or um, offering your opponent 27 points uh, is actually uh, much preferable to, um, to giving them an actual victory. Doing this, sorry, I'm typing a bit slowly because I'm doing it one handed with a cup of tea in the other hand. Alright, this long list of notes continues. Um, let's play on. So we've got strength and temperance. So the Empress is going to be. I didn't write down about the Emperor and Empress, did I? But they are definitely royals. Temperance is council. Strength? I don't know if we know about strength. Um, what would strength fit into? I don't, I don't know if we've found the category that strengths would fit into yet. So, yes, yeah, so I know that if I pick judgment, I'll at least have a council pair. So let's do that. The full wins of four points. Council pair beats lucky pair. So the fool, oh, the fool, the hanged man. Ah, okay. That's um, some bleak humour possibly there. Hanged man uh, equals a uh, lucky pair. Yes, yeah, so they can have more. Oh, can have more than one. Oh, you know what, I'm saying that, but I don't think we've actually... Have we seen the Hanged Man in context of anything yet? Yes, mortal, yes. Yes, indeed. So, I, yeah, I think now is probably the time to actually... Um, make more of a list of the categories they fall into. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So, um, I don't know if, yes, yeah, so I don't know 
how we'd work out the values of stuff, but so the four plus the hangman equals lucky pair, and the <coughs> excuse me for the cough there. I was um, trying to uh, mute myself, but that didn't work. Okay, so um, uh, council, 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 judgment, judgment, and temperance equals council. There we go. Alrighty, so we've got a hermit hierophant and a wheel of fortune. So if the hangman is lucky, then I can get a lucky pair. Um, the hierophant was council. I get a council pair. So is council is council bigger than luck, or is luck bigger than council? Alright, I think I'm just going to have to start making a, um, on the top of this notepad, I'm going to start making a list of what each one fits into. So, we'll go um, uh, Hierophant. So we know that's Council, right? And Wheel of Fortune. We know that's Luck. Could also be mortal, couldn't it? Um, the hermit. Hermit. We know that's council. Death. Uh, dark. Uh, the magician. We haven't. I don't think we've seen that contextualised as anything. I'm not sure what that would be, unless it is also one of the ones we've seen already. I feel like the hanged man's probably the one to go for. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, the fall is 27 points. A lucky pair beats death. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we don't know any, that's no new information there. So the hanged man with, I like this, this has got a narrative, um, a narrative implication, hasn't it? That the hanged man with the addition of fortune would, uh, would overcome death. I like that. So actually the scores are pretty level. We're doing, by accident, uh, by trial and error, we're doing all right. So the sun, I don't know, I guess the sun would be the astral as well. So we've already got temperance and justice, so we've already got a council pair. Um, so let's put the temperance, I'm not writing these in alphabetical order. Uh, not, not as a, like a, uh, a point of uh, defiance or anything, Just uh, I'm just doing them as they come up. Right, council. Justice. You know what? I'm I am pretty well into this. This is a I'm enjoying this just as a card game in itself. Great, very nice. Um I do like a good card game, you know. Um Right, so we've got those sorted. The sun, I don't know what that is. I don't know what categories that falls into. Uh, the sun, a uh, strength. I we still haven't found about strength, have we? You feel like strength and temperance might go together, so I might choose it just to see if we accidentally make a combo. Um, the wheel of fortune, we know. The fool is luck. I don't know if it's anything else. Wouldn't it be crazy to um, play a card game and see yourself on the cards? That would be. Be interesting, isn't it? Yeah, let's choose strength in this case. Um, old man wins 81 points. A high pair beats a council pair. Interesting. So strength didn't count for anything in this scenario. Um, and they had the fool and the sun, which made a high pair. Ooh, okay. Fool, luck, high. Is that another joke? Because the sun is high in the sky and the Fool is high on life. Intriguing. Enjoying this. Enjoying working this out. Okay. 
So we have fallen significantly behind now. Um, I'm going to munch a little bit more. Okay, let's try. I just wrote down um, while um, I was munching and listening, I wrote down the new cards that we hadn't listed in this way before. So don't we know what the tower does, so let's choose the tower. The old man wins 63 points. The astral pair of the star and the moon beats the empress. Okay, didn't find out anything there. Fair enough. Oh, that's an interesting combo. So I've got the devil which I haven't written down yet, which is definitely dark, if nothing else. The devil. Um, and the hierophant, so I've got a dark and a council. The star is astral, um, justice is council, chariot is mortal. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is Luck. Don't know what their other card is. I'm going to choose... Um, Justice, so that I know we've got a Council Pair. The four wins 54 points. Council Pair beats the star. Interesting. So I wonder if they're sort of like um, high-value individual cards as well. So obviously the star was more worthy of note than the Empress or the Wheel of Fortune this time. Okay, we didn't find out any new info. I've got the Fool and the Moon. Uh, the Hanged Man, so that would make me a lucky pair. The Magician. I think the Magician might go with the Moon. I don't know if the Tower would do anything. But let's pick the Magician to find out. Old Man Yields. Oh! Interesting. I don't know if that means whether we had a good hand or they had a bad hand. But it did us some good. Okay, so. Um, we have Justice and the Moon. So Council and Astral. 
versus temperance, which is counsel, high priestess, which is a bit of an unknown quantity, and death. I'm going to choose the high priestess. Um, because you got the emperor, I don't know what would go with the emperor. Death beats the high priestess, so the high priestess doesn't combine with any of those things, which is interesting. I suppose question mark with strength, because we still haven't worked that one out. Um, so we're not we're not doing great points wise, but this is um, giving us more info hopefully. Still don't know what the high priestess um, comes under. Not council obviously because that didn't work there. Not astral. There's no kind of connection between the high priestess and the moon, which is a connection I thought might be there. All right, so we're we're here again. We can go hierophant. We've got Hierophant and Hanged Man, we've got Council and Luck, we can get Council from the Hermit, don't know what we can get from the Tower or the Magician. So let's try the Magician. Old Man wins 80 points. Low Pair? Okay. Oh, okay, the Lovers and the Tower. So Tower is low. Lovers, I don't think I've written down in this list yet. They're Luck and Low. So that's good to know. A magician was just like a high value individual one. So I still don't know what category that falls into. Interesting. Now I've got a Hierophant and some lovers. So the Hierophant is council as far as I know. And the lovers are luck and low. So I could get a low pair, right? Because I've got the, I can get the tower. Um, or judgment is counsel as well, or fool is luck. Let's go for the fool. The fool wins 27 points. The lucky pair beats the low pair. Ah, okay, so the tower, the chariot is low as well. Have I written the chariot down? No. So the chariot was uh, mortal. Oh, chariot. Mortal. And low. So that's good to know. Um, and what else was mortal? The hanged man was mortal, right? Have I written the hanged man down? No, let's write that down. Hanged man is definitely luck and mortal, as far as we know. Go. Great. Um, ooh, the, ha the old man has 423 now. We're probably nearing the end of this attempt. I'm going to have another quick munch. Bear with me a minute. A minute. Good brunch, everybody. Right, um, so, we've got the Judgment and the Emperor. So the Emperor is most certainly royal, but anything else? Not sure. Who were our high... 
towel was... L <coughs> oh, excuse me for another cough. Towel was low. Um, lovers were low. Chariot was low. Which is interesting. I'm not sure what the association is there. Um, the fool was high and the sun was high. So I can't... I can't, don't know if I'll be able to pick those ones out, personally. Um, I feel that... The magician is probably not going to go with either of these, but the empress would have to go with the emperor. So let's choose the empress. Um, old man wins eighty-one points. Oh, the sun and the magician are high. Okay, and that beats a royal pair. Fair enough. Well, at least I know something about the magician now. So that's good. All right, so we've got the moon and the wheel of fortune, the devil, the hermit, the and the high priestess. I think we've just got to choose the High Priestess, we don't know anything about her yet. Dark Pair, yeah, beats the High Priestess, fair enough, no new information there. Ooh, 576, Ugh. Okay, we've got Death and Justice. Interesting. I'm tempted to pick the Sun, to see if Sun and Death correspond in some way. Astral pair beats sun, the world, and the star. I haven't written down the world and the star, have I? Let's write those down. World. At least I don't think I have. I wonder if the sun is astral as well. Maybe. Right, so the sun, yeah, sun doesn't correspond to any of those. Fair enough. All right, probably the last round. So I've got an astral in the world, and I've got a council in justice. And the hermit is, is the hermit council? Yes. So I can definitely get council. Um, okay. Yeah, let's get Judgment and Justice, why not? Council Pair beats Low Pair. Oh, the Fool is also low. Interesting. So Fool is Luck, High and Low. Nice. Um, and the Chariot, did I know that was... I knew that was low, didn't I? Yeah. No worries. Alright, well we held on for a little bit longer. So I've got the Chariot. Mortal, low. Temperance, which is... Um, have I written that down? I have. Council, that's the only thing I know about that. Strength, I don't know about strength. Let's get strength in there. Astral pair beats a mortal pair. Okay, the sun is astral, brilliant. Lovely. I don't know how engaging a stream this has been, but I'm having a fantastic time just trying to puzzle this out. Um, right, so strength is mortal. This, this, um, I like just uh, chipping away and trying to work something out. It's quite a satisfying experience. And the chariot is mortal. Brilliant, okay. Oh, so it just resets. Okay, so that's that's fine. So we just need to win it once. Um, yeah, I'm happy to go again. So I know that temperance is counsel and strength is uh, mortal. Death. You'd think death would be mortal, right? Well, I mean, it's not mortal, but it's, it's in that realm. It's related to mortality. The Magician, all I know about the Magician is high, but I don't think the Magician would necessarily go with Strength or Temperance. So I'm going to try Death, and see what happens. Astral Pair of the World and the Sun, uh, which I know about, beats Death. No, Death does not go with any of those. Alright. Not a great point score. Um, the Hierophant, Death. I wonder if death is a high value card. Let's pick the fool, which we know to be high. Dark pair in the high priestess and the devil. Okay. 
Um, where is High Priestess? Right, so High Priestess and the Devil. Pretty sure I wrote the Devil there. Yeah. Um, they're a dark pair, and they beat Death, who doesn't go with either of these ones. Okay, good to know. So, I've got the Lovers and the Empress. Lovers are low and lucky. Yeah. Um, Empress is royal. You got the emperor. So have I got anything that's low, or I don't think I've got anything that can correspond with that. But let's chuck in, say, the world and see what happens. High priestess beats world. Okay. Um. Well, Hierophant and a High Priestess, so a Council and a Dark. I've got the Fool and Strength and the Emperor. Don't know that either of these things go together. Let's pick the Fool. A mortal pair of the Hanged Man and Strength, um, which we know about, don't we? Beats the High Priestess, who doesn't cross one with either of those. Interesting. Right, Death. Um, so I don't think Death and the Hanged Man go together, necessarily, or the Hierophant. The Tower is low, that's what I know about the Tower. Let's pick the Tower. Death beats the High Priestess. Yeah, just uh, individual trumps at the moment. Alright, Death and a Judgment. And so death is dark, judgment is council. Have I written judgment down or have I just assumed I have? I think I have. Alright, let's write it down. Judgment is council. Um, against Chariot, which is more than low, Temperance, which is Council, Fool, which is high, low, and lucky. Um, I'm going to try Temperance because that should give us at least a pair. Council pair beats Mortal pair, which is the Hanged Man and the Chariot, which we know about their um, statuses, don't we? Okay, there you go, that's better. Um, the Tower and judgment and hierophant i'm going for the hierophant because that will be a at least a council pair and it will take away the chance of um the old man making a council pair with these two so we'll do that the old man yields okay interesting okay the fool judgment and justice and i've got the wheel of fortune and the sun so the only thing I know about the sun is it's high? No, it's high in astral. And the Wheel of Fortune is luck. Justice is council. Judgment is council. Um, the fool. I should go for the fool because the fool is lucky. Um, but also high. So high pair beats death. Okay. Cool. Um, death is dark, so we could get a dark pair with the devil. Temperance is council. I think dark beats the council. Hierophant is the council as well. Let's try for a dark pair. Or then yields, okay. We're um we're oh we're pulling ahead. I think this is the first time we've done that. Okay, so the magician, let me remind myself, the magician was uh high. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? So the Empress for royalty, the Hermit for council. Um, I don't know that they fit into any other category, so I'm just going to go for the council one. So the high pair. Okay, so they got a high pair with the son of the magician. It beats my royal pair there. Um, and I do know about those categories already. The lovers and the fool make a lucky pair. 
and Justice and the Higher Felt make a council pair. We'll go for the lucky pair. Lucky pair beats the high priestess. That's worked out right for me. Death and the Emperor, so we've got Dark and Royal. Magician is high. Chariot is low and mortal. Justice is council. Um, I don't know that any of these fit actually. First, get the magician because it's a high card. The mortal pair beats death. Oh yeah, I guess I could have seen that coming. The mortal pair beats death. What a sentence, eh? Okay, so look, high priestess and judgment. So dark and council. Um, I can get more council. Let's do that. A low triplet beats the council pair. So the fool, the tower, and the chariot are all low. Is that right? Is that what I've written down? More than low for the chariot. The fool is low, and the tower is low. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Fair enough. We're, uh, Falling behind again. Um, right, so I've got Justice and the Wheel of Fortune, both of which only have one category as far as I know, um, and they don't match up to the categories of any of the other ones that are in the selection there, as far as I can tell. Um, we've got High, Dark, and Royal, so let's get High. Magician beats High Priestess. There you go, that worked out all right. Okay, pulling it back. Okay, so I've got the World on offer, the Hierophant and the Emperor, and I've got Luck and Dark there. Um, what goes with Strength? Strength is Mortal. None of those are Mortal as far as I can tell. I'm going to pop the World in here and see what happens. Mortal Pair. Oh, they had the chair. They already had a mortal pair with the strength of the chariot. Okay. Right, we've got the magician and the world. High and astral. I can get a uh, hanged man, which is luck and mortal. And uh, the devil, which is dark and justice. And you know what? I kind of want to find out if the magician is dark as well. I'm guessing not. At least the High Priestess is kind of the opposite number, and it's the dark one. Um, ah, let's just do it. Mortal Pair beats Magician. Hanged Man and Strength. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, so what we're going to do here. We've got the Moon and the World would be Astral. Um, Hanged man, I don't think it goes with justice or judgment, so let's get the world. Astral pair beats justice. Absolutely it does. I've got the sun, which is high. High and astral. The tower, which is low, maybe something else. The moon, which is astral. Lovers, which is luck and mortal. Wheel of fortune, which is luck. So let's get the moon, so we've got an astral pair. Your man yields, okay. Um, select a card above or yield. Um, I'm going to choose. Right, I can get a um, a high pair with the sun and the fool. Um, but I don't think the empress can match readily with any of those. So let's get the fool. The old man yields. Okay. Interesting. The old man can yield after these. Uh, he's seen what we've done. Um, right, I've got the fool and the devil. Um, I've got the sun, so I can get another high pair, uh, which I think is probably the way to go. The old man yields. Yeah, if I get a good combo, then he seems to yield quite a lot. Maybe I should be yielding, but then I don't know what he's got. Um, right, so I've got the strength and the lovers, which are both mortal. I can't pick another mortal. You've got one mortal as well. Um, I can pick dark. Or the Hierophant, which is Council, or the Emperor. Do you pick the Emperor as a high card? High Priestess beats Strength. 
Oh, are they not a mortal pair? The lovers, hang on. The lovers. No, they're luck and low. Oh, I was mistaken there. Fair enough. And the Emperor not very high, apparently. Uh, so I've got Strength, which is uh, mortal. Right? And the Moon, which is astral. Um, and I've got Temperance Council, Hanged Man, Luck, and Mortal? Okay, we can do a Mortal Pair. Um, and the Devil, which is... Okay, let's do a Mortal Pair. Council Pair beats Mortal Pair. Ah! Curses, hyphen, and Temperance there. We're still not doing too badly. So I've got Death. Death doesn't seem to go with anything other than darker things. The Emperor and the Empress will make a royal pair. I don't think they do anything with Temperance or the Hanged Man, so let's get the royal pair. Beats the Sun. Interesting. Okay. Cool, got 45 points. That's alright. I've got the High Priestess, Dark, Strength, Mortal, Hermit Council, Magician, High? Just High. And the Sun, which is High and Astral. Well, this is weird, isn't it? Let's just get the sun. The fool wins nine points. The sun beats the magician. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that might be... I thought the sun might be the highest card. Okay, so... Um, the fool, the empress, the tower. Ooh. Uh, uh, The full lucky pair, lucky pair, or yeah, lucky pair, lucky triplet. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. The cost of the fortune and the lovers both lucky, and the full is lucky. Beats the royal pair, ninety nine points, brilliant. So getting a triplet is well worth it. Brilliant, I'm ahead again. That was that was lucky. Okay, so I've got the devil, which is dark, and the world, which is astral. And the hermit, who is a hermit, who is the council, and the hanged man, who is luck and mortal, and justice is council, just council. Um, so I don't know that I can make anything out of this necessarily, but you could get some mortal stuff with that one. So if I take that away, you've got a royal pair. Oh, the Hermit's Royal as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The Hermit is Royal as well. Like some kind of exiled uh, member of the family. Good. All right. Well, that, that reminds me of that. Beats the Devil. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. We can still we can still do it, possibly. So the Wheel of Fortune, which is Luck. The Moon, which is Astral. The World, which is Astral. Strength, which is mortal. The tower, which is low. That's what I know about it. Let's get the world. Astral pair beats death. Yes, 63 points. Good. Okay, so justice and the emperor. Two different categories, royal and council. Uh, I've got astral here. And uh, hanged man is luck and mortal. And strength is mortal. Um, you could get an astral pair with those, so I'll take the moon. Sun beats moon. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, still ahead though. Um, right, the emperor, death, and temperance. Um, temperance, that makes a council pair. Chariot is mortal and low. Doesn't necessarily make a pair with anything. Death doesn't. No, so death and chariot. Well, emperor and chariot don't really go. So I think it's got to be temperance. Council pair beats death. Wow, that seems, reads like a, um, a newspaper headline, doesn't it? Okay, what? Well, 513. We're getting close. Okay, let's play it canny, folks. Let's play it canny. So the wheel of fortune is luck. Death is dark. The emperor is royal. The hermit is council and royal. 
the tower is low. None of these do anything particularly. But let's get the hermit out of the way because I know they've, they've got two. Death beats the high priestess. Nice. So we, we won just by a narrow margin. Okay, so now we've got luck and dark. We've got high and dark and mortal and low. So let's get dark for a dark pair. Beats a mortal. Oh, wow, the hermit is, is all the things. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder how many categories each of these has, because I thought the fool might be a special one with three. Um, but it says that the hermit has got council, royal, and mortal categories. Um, maybe they all have more than, um, more than I think they do. Cool. We're very close. We've got 594. Okay, so we've got low with the tower, and the lovers are luck and low. Ooh, so if I get another low one, I'd get a low triple. Um, but I don't know that death or the empress or temperance are low. But let's try death. Royal pair beats low pair. Well, that, that makes sense. Emperor and empress. Okay. Yeah, perhaps I should have thought about that a bit more. That's all right. Okay, so uh, we've got death, dark, moon, astral, sun, astral, and high, um, hanged man, mortal, and luck, emperor, royal. So let's go astral. Astral pair beats mortal pair of the hanged man and strength. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, 657, we're nearly there. Okay. We need just one win of some kind? Brilliant. Okay, so the Fool and Wheel of Fortune are luck, 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 luck. The Fool is also uh, high and low. The Hermit is Council, Royal and Mortal, so it doesn't really go with any of those ones. The Devil is Dark and Temperance is Council. They've got the Magician, which is high. Uh, maybe other things. I'm going to take the Hermit out of play. Whoa, the Fool wins the game. It's flashing excitedly. Lucky Pair beats Magician. Yeah, so I don't know if the Magician really goes with much. Brilliant, I'm going to click again to stop this flashing. <gasps> okay, so did we just unlock the Archway? Okay, nice. Well, let's read this. This is exciting. Continuing along the road, he passed under a stone archway and encountered six young warriors, waving their staffs triumphantly. Is there a cause for celebration? asked the fool. Yes, indeed, the leader proclaimed. This day the four kings have declared a truce to the horrible war that has ravaged our land. And it is said that between the four, one of the land's lost treasures will be restored. Ooh, treasure. Spread the news and be joyful. The fool found it hard to be joyful, though, for he had yet to uncover even one of the fourteen treasures. Ah, so there's some, there's some kind of treasure clue going on here. Exciting. Well, uh, do we want to have a look at the archway? Oh, we, ooh, we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I mean, part of that is munching and uh, serving up time, but... Uh, yeah, let's, let's have another go. Um, let's have a look at the archway puzzle. With a maze, there is no escape from the temple of Volf. Oh, cool. Well, how do I get this to move? Do I click? Is it just a maze? Is it an actual maze? Can I just do it with my eyeballs right now? Am I doing it with my eyeballs? I think I can do it with my... I think this is like a straightforward maze. In which case, I can just, I can just do it. Can I click? Yeah. Okay. Oh, not that way. This way. Right? Like this. Ah, oh, Interesting. Does that mean there's a, like a secret door? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's not a straightforward maze. That's fine. I think we can do this pretty... Uh, pretty readily. 
Okay, so it looks like we should go that way, so I'm going to go this way instead, because I feel like that's what I'm learning from this maze, is that go the way that you expect not to go. That seems to be the the way. Uh, so definitely this way. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you see? It's good to... um. Oh, you know what? I need to go this way, actually, don't I? Ah, oh, what? Oh, no, I can't go back. Oh, there's this one. Okay, okay, <laughs> so now I got to that section, I'm in this section, which is kind of where I was aiming for to start with. Well, I'm going through here, because this is obviously where you're going to go. Um, and then... Oh, oh, okay, I somehow got through there. Brilliant, we're up here. No, we need to go up here, don't we? <laughs> this is quite nice. I like it. It's got... Um, Ah, oh, I don't go that way, I don't think. I don't think I do. Um, it's got uh, its own set of rules, which you can kind of intuit to some extent. Right, a secret door's going to slam shut at some point here, because I'm nearly at the exit. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, of course it is. Right, down here. Ah, so not that way. This way. No? Maybe. Okay, so if you go that way, that happens. If you go here, that closes. If you go there, that. Okay, so I might have to go this way then. Um, uh, okay, so. We really need to approach it a different way. Because that will happen again, won't it? I can't go down. Interesting. Okay. What does the clue say? To escape from the maze, use the mouse to maneuver the white dot to the exit. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So this way. Oh, what if I go down this way? Yes, this is the way. No? It's not the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Oh. This is... No. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to do the circuit again, I think. Yeah, so you have to do that. Right, let's go straight down here, and then this way. Can't do. So how do I... Oh, I can get back this way, okay. This is probably good. Oh no, because that's where we were before. Yeah, so it doesn't want to let you get to this bit down here. But can I get down here? Yeah, I can. Can I get this way? Yeah, I can. Okay, well, this is different, so there's no secret doors around here, which is nice. Ah, so I can come around this way. Oh, you pesky. Hey, we did it. There you go. I escaped from the Temple of Thoth. Oh, okay, we need to write an H. Hang on. Let me make some notes. So. That was the Wheel of Fortune. We were at the... So we were at previously at the archway. What, we're going gangbusters through this... Uh... Through this puzzle game. Can't believe it. Right, the archway. Treasure. Um... I will. I can return to that, can't I? Okay. Uh, between the four of kings. So the say of kings. Between the four 
one of the land's lost treasures will be restored. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know, that doesn't seem to relate to the puzzle necessarily that we did, but that might come in handy later on. So let's read the pyramids where we are now. There doesn't appear to be a puzzle to do here, or is there another page to it? No. Interesting, okay. So uh, let's read it and find out. He travelled further up the road and saw three pyramids to the west, the centre one inscribed with the letter H. He stared at his parchment in dismay. It showed the picture of a stone bridge crossing a pond. I may be a fool, the fool mumbled, but either this map is in error or the land is. He decided to pack the confusing parchment in his knapsack. Oh, okay, so we now know that the pyramids um, has an H and also on that uh, on map has stone bridge pond stone bridge and pond so that's um, definitely a map clue I feel let's do some underlining there we go um, should we march on to the next puzzle I think we should so that's going to be the next category along the world crikey Okay, very soon he came to an aged stone monument set upon a carved pedestal. It was a model of the world. At last, the fool exclaimed, running over to the globe and searching it carefully. There must be a clue to the 14 treasures here somewhere. Yes, the world suddenly replied. Praise be, he cried, leaping for joy. Please, I am in haste. What can you tell me? Yes, the world repeated. The fool scratched his head in bewilderment. You say yes, yet nothing more. Yes, was its final word on the matter. Okay. So, um, yes might be a, um, a clue of some kind here. Don't know what. Let's write it down. And then let's have a look at this puzzle. Oh, my, there are so many countries, thought the fool. Oh, is it a word search? I love word searches. There are 23 words hidden below, either horizontally or vertically. To select a word, use the mouse to click and drag from the first letter of that word to the last letter. If any of the selected letters are incorrect or selected in the wrong order, that word will be rejected. Okay. Um, 23 words. 23 countries? Uh, I can see Netherlands. There. Only 22 to go. I like it. This is a really smooth, um, fairly oh, there's no way, intuitive interface. And so far, I've really enjoyed the puzzles presented to me. They're uh, ones I can actually get to grips with, which makes it makes it feel quite nice. Uh, Poland. I don't know why I said that slightly strangely. Um, Widji. No, that's not. I don't think that's a country as far as I know. Um, oh, Russia. This is over there. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're worth searching now. This is quite fun. I'll have a little sip of tea. Spain right there. Portugal right next to Spain. I don't know if there are any of that backwards. This is horizontally and vertically, so it might be backwards. Um, so I'm only seeing the ones that are uh, horizontal so far. I think it's a bit harder to, to read it vertically, because the um, characters don't always take up the same width. Albania, there you go. Yeah, I'll try doing columns for a bit. Scan the columns. Austria, Romania. Okay. Okay, I was doing columns, wasn't I? 
Uh, okay, uh, but it was 1987. This is Czechoslovakia. There's too many S's here, I feel. Something must be going on with these S's. Switzerland. There you go. Swiss. Oh, England. That's the one I'm in at the moment. Oh, it's another la Oh, Iceland. There you go. Uh, it's another Ireland. Look out for the lands. Um, land? Finland. And I think there's going to be stuff going over here. Oh, Yugoslavia. There you go. Once again, 1987. There you go. Sweden. What's oh, all France? There you go. That bit was looking a bit too unfilled. Um, Lius? Gormless? See? Look. Look. You Only five to go, that's good. Um, I zoned out there for a second. Um, Greece? I saw some G's and thought Greece. Yep, there you go. No. Maybe something that cuts across them? Scotland. So we've had Ireland and Scotland and England. Do we get Wales? Do we get Wales? Let's see. Looks. Uh, Belgium? Belgium would be a nice one to find, wouldn't it? Dear kind viewers, if uh, if anyone is out there and would like to chip in, please do. We're definitely we're definitely not going anywhere with this stream until this is uh, this is solved. Even if it takes the rest of rest of brunch, I'm willing to do it. No, even if it takes us to lunch. You know what? I'm gonna uh, take my headphones off and just just stand back for a minute to uh, to look from a distance, and I might spot something. Be right back. Well, I stood back, I thought about it, and I still couldn't see anything. It would be an awful shame if the last three were written backwards. That would be a little bit tricksy. I don't think they will be. I think I just can't see them yet. I feel like if I can see one of them, then I will un unlock that part of my brain and be able to see the rest of them. Alright, let's try saving the game. And let's call this stream. It's our stream save game. And hmm. I guess it could say we'll start with one of the grayed out letters, which I'm not really focusing on so much. Um, that could be an element. Germany. Oh, no, I went the wrong path. But the Germany is there. So that's good. I need two to go. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so many. I saw many before, didn't I? I didn't quite twig. Lurable. Uh, Weej. Turkey. <laughs> yep, there you go. Turkey. Uh, only one to go. This is probably, I haven't looked on the front page, but this is probably on Twitch's front page right now. As a person solves word search laboriously. Bimmon. Uh, Italy! Italy! <laughs> 
Yes, we did it. Yes. Fantastic. All right. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to embolden that, and let's finish the stream there. I think that's a great place to do it. It's um, yeah, coming for one o'clock where I am, so I think that's a good a good time to do it. So I'm going to save my document. I'm going to save my game. Importantly, there we go. And yeah, that's it. We um. We did some of the Fool's Errand, and actually it went a lot better than I thought it might. I thought I might be um, readily stumped um, right away, but luckily it wasn't. Fantastic. Well, I'll let I'll let the music play us out, um, and um, I'll do a quick outro. So if you um, if you've watched this and enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching. First of all. But second of all, if you want to see uh, the previous Sunday brunch I did, where I played uh, Sierra's puzzle game, The Incredible Machine, uh, you can check that out on my YouTube channel, that's at Cat, Cat Sequences on YouTube. Um, there's all sorts of Let's Plays and live stream VODs there. If you'd like to be notified when I next go live on Twitch, please, please do follow me along here. Um, I do have a Patreon and a coffee tip jar if you'd like to... Um, show your appreciation financially in any way that would be uh, lovely and very helpful um, but the main thing really is um, to um, to check out the videos if you like like the things I make um, so thank you very much once again and until next time which may be an impromptu stream uh, maybe a video on YouTube who knows uh, until next time take care bye bye